Hey guys, Keith from Helvonic Games. I'm on the Olympus map and today I'm going to show you how to get a Wyvern Egg. Hopefully without dying too many times. Okay, so I'm going to take a, a trusty rock drake over there and we're going to head over to um, the area at approximately 80.35 where there is two mountains close together and the Wyvern eggs are in cubby holes on either side of those so I tried this yesterday on my Tyranodon I didn't die but, but every egg I got immediately spoiled when I picked it up so I assumed it had been there a long time so expect that um, no one's been playing on this map so I'm hoping that that doesn't happen today because I picked them all up yesterday so let's hope for the best and let's hope we actually get a living today it was annoying actually i picked up a 190 uh, two 190s a, a lightning and a fire 190 and both of them instantly spoiled as soon as i picked them up there's nothing more hurtful in arc than that happening <laughs> let's see where we are okay so we want to be over that over that mountain so we'll go over directly over that mountain and we'll get some height and that should speed up things with the rock drag Oh, there's another striders on this map. I'd need to find some uh, mutagel before I was taming those though. Quite easy to tame striders but you've got to get mutagel. Right, you see those kind of those mountains in the distance with the the flat peaks? That's where the, the wyvern nests are. At least that's the fire wyverns and the lightning wyverns and the poison wyverns. And if you, you have to go to a completely different spot if you want ice wyverns. So what we want to do here, it's actually more controllable using, um, oh, there's no wyverns, I can't see any wyverns, that's strange. It's actually easier to control this uh, with a pteranodon, so I'm not going to actually use my drake now I'm here. I'm going to use my Tyranodon and I'm going to make sure I've got a ton of stamina, a little bit of weight so I can carry the eggs, but mainly, whoop, oh, and there we go, immediately attacked by a wyvern that wasn't there a few seconds ago. <laughs> anyway, let's run away. Fortunately, I haven't nicked an egg yet, so that uh, wyvern shouldn't, in theory, it should aggro on something else, but it's not, it's actually still following me, I don't know why. Anyway, if I just hang around these these raptors, it should. Yeah, it's gone off to something else. Okay, so that's not the ideal. I should have had a better look around really before I started to look for the nests. But the wyverns are now are now visible. So let's go and see the foot. So essentially, if we look quickly at the map, there we are now. You see the two the island with the two mountains on it that's where we are we're going to go around both sides and essentially we're going to probably collect every with an egg we can find there's none in that first cubby so we'll just start working our way around we need to make sure we don't get the aggro of that obviously it's going to go okay it's going down towards there so we're going to go up have a quick look yep it's attacking that great good news about this particular place there's another cubby with nothing in it is that there's lots of other dinos around so it's relatively easy if you do get aggro and you can survive the initial breath attack it is relatively easy to kite the uh, kite them to other dinos to get their aggro what's that over there poison within level 300 well I hope it's eggs around nothing in that one either let's go up see if there's any other other nests nothing nice looking argy over there but I'm not here for that. Oh, there's a lightning ribbon, so let's go down. And there are uh, there are some uh, lava elementals. You can pretty obvious though. Uh, now there's there's a cubby on it. There's three cubbies in this section. One one on one side and two on the other. But we want to. I want to go and get that yellow drop because I've got very little decent gear at the moment. So I do want to grab any drop I can find, and that's not bad. Mastercraft, no, Dunkleosteus. Nobody uses those. <laughs> okay, again, nothing in that one. And there's a, there we go. There's a nest in that. There's a nest in that one down there. What's the egg? Come on. 
It's a 30th level lightning with an egg. Wow. Oh, well, we're going to grab it anyway because it won't respawn unless I take the egg. So just have a quick look around. Make sure your stamina's, stamina's on full. Whatever diet that I know you're going to run on. Okay, now we're going we're gonna to grab the egg. Oh, we're not. We're going to accidentally get back on. We're going to grab the egg. And then we're going to run. Well, well there's no... Da no well, there's no wivens around. Oh, there it is. There's one right. I don't want to get near that. That will... The problem with lightning wivens is the range on the breath attack, so you don't want to get close. Let's see if I can get it to aggro on this Amagosaurus. It's already aggroed on something, so... Uh, well, it's either that or it's stuck. No, it looks like it's aggroed on something else. So we'll head now. There's another one up there. It's not bothering with me, so we'll head now around the other side of the mountain and see if we can find anything around here nothing's chasing me that's good so we'll have a look at that egg it's a uh, lightning with level 30 I'll keep it for now um, I really am hoping there's a better egg than that that's a shocker but it's better having a level 30 with an egg than no egg because <laughs> I've got no wivens at all at the moment so I'll raise it just because I haven't got any wivens Okay, so there's a fire within down there, but there's no eggs in the compartment. What do you call it? The alcove. So we'll keep moving around. Let's move a bit further away. Let's look back at the mountain see if I'm missing anything. So there's another cubby down there. Nothing in that one either. I'm pretty sure there isn't any. I think the, the only cubbies, or the only alcoves for eggs are the ones with the you know the like the giant's cause where the hexagon shaped rocks so we'll go over here and we'll look back and see if that hasn't respawned so that 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 egg thing is not respawned i didn't check the one up there i didn't check the second one up there so we'll go up there we'll go up top and kind of make a detour around i do want to go and grab that artifact of the destroyer as well while i'm here might as well get another one while it's busy. Okay, we'll get our stamina back. Looks like there's um, sulfur nodes over there. Okay, we're going to grab this artifact. Obviously you can get two if you had a, an otter with you, but I don't have an otter. So there's nothing in that. That could be there, so we'll, we'll go down do a figure of eight and we'll go around back the way we originally started and go the opposite direction around the mountain and if there's nothing this time we'll stick with our level 30 lightning with an egg the problem I've got at the moment is I haven't really got anything that can easily kill these wivens normally I would kill the wivens if I had a wiven or even if I had a decent managama I would um, kill the wivens and then fly out of render but the way it is, I can't really kill the women, so all I can hope is that they get killed by other things and then we get respawning nests in that way. Oh, there's, a, there's one, out in the open. That's a level 100 fire egg, and that's better than what I've got. So I'll just have to watch. That looks like it's that one, so it might be quite colourful. If it's the same women that's down there, it's like a lovely green colour. Right, we'll have a good look around. It's nothing, nothing. So, stamina back. Stamina back on the thing, 1200 stamina, he's at max, grab the egg, jump on with him and go and what we're going to do is head towards some other dinos, something for those wivens to get aggroed on, because there's the wiven, we'll probably out, to be honest, we'll probably, it's so far away, we'll probably get it out of render if we just keep flying. Oh, still following me, so we will um, we'll come back towards it. Oh, there you go. It's it's aggroed on the uh, on the triceratops. That was what I was hoping for. Now I didn't notice. I didn't notice if um, that's despoiled and it didn't. So it's still there. So I got myself two wivens at least, two wiven eggs. So maybe we get back to base now and uh, get those raised up rather than testing our look anymore. So I think I'll swap back to my rock drake because I can uh, I can glide all the way back from up the top. So head to the very top 
get our rock drake out and get gliding. Uh, I've yet to check out what's down there, but this looks rather interesting down there. But that's not the highest spot. Let's get to the highest, highest spot that I can get my rock drake out on. Which probably is just one of these ledges. Ah, interesting. There's actually mobs up here. <laughs> and they're coming for me. Come on then. Over the edge you come. There we go. Okay, so relatively safe. Rock drake out. Trying to run away. Trying to put them away is a pain. And back on the rock jerk. So let's head home. And my home is around about 70, where, 75, 85. Why is it so bright? I've got 75, 85. Let's have a look at the map. More or less the direction I'm facing. So let's get up and. There we go, we should just be able to glide and get a bit of speed up. We'll, we will go towards that peak and we'll, get, we'll, we'll, go, we'll see if we can get to the top of that peak. Set off guiding again. I do like rock drakes, but um, they're just not a patch on withens. So it's a good dino to, to get if you can't get a wyvern. There's another mountain I'll show you in another video. Where the rock drakes are actually just in the open, they're not even... Uh, you don't even have to go into a into a radiation zone on this map, so a really good place to get rock drakes. If you like that kind of thing. Obviously they're awesome for aberration where you can't use flyers. Also Svartelheim, I don't know if you've played that. If you've played ever played the oh, didn't glide there for some reason. If you ever played Svartel it's not doing its gliding for some reason. Oh I've got a bit of a lag I think. There we go. Yes, Vitalheim's a no-flyer map, so Rock Drake's useful in there, and actually because it's a small map, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's actually quite a useful dino on that map. Let's get back to base. Ooh, I'll have that gilly hat. That was 104 gilly. Nice. I'll have that. Useful. Where's my base? Over here somewhere. Yeah, it's on the other side. I always use that river. That river's a good landmark. Follow the river. Then it's to the left of the river. And my partially built base is here. Hey, we're home. We're safely home with two river eggs. First river eggs. I've managed to get home, so let's pop them in the hatchery. There we go, that's how you get with an eggs on the Olympus map. Thanks for watching Held Vaughn at Games, and I'll speak to you again soon.